Ukraine's Navy has shown surface sea drones are an effective strike weapon, but have they just gone a step further? This footage released online is said to show its underwater drone, the Marishka. Other designs like this schematic, shared widely on social media, have all pointed to Ukraine moving in this direction, but it's not alone. Multiple countries are actually developing these type of submersible unmanned underwater vehicles or UUVs, Russia included, uh, as well as the United States, China and a number of other countries. They're developed for conducting surveillance and reconnaissance below the waters, uh, and some of them can actually be armed to attack uh, both uh, surface and subsurface vessels. We also have non-state actors uh, like certain uh, drug cartels in Latin America that actually build semi-submersible vessels that can cross the Atlantic. And so the knowledge for building both military and commercial type of vessels, both uh, fully submersible or even semi-submersible, has been around for many years at this point. So we're probably not very far from seeing certain type of so or some kind of a UUV actually trying to attack and uh, damage Russian naval uh, assets. The low profile of surface sea drones gives a degree of stealth, but a submersible or semi-submersible design makes them harder to detect and intercept, whether they're engaged in attacking or simply surveillance operations. It all depends on how quickly these navies can identify and interdict such uh, submersibles. Certainly the Coast Guard uh, has done uh, a great job with interdicting many of them. The question is how many actually do slip through and how advanced is the technology. If uh, a certain type of a vehicle is semi-submersible, then a, it could be basically seen above water by advanced assets like aircraft, maybe satellites, or even naval drones or, or naval ships. If these type of vessels can actually change how they traverse the ocean, or the sea, if they can switch from being semi-submersible to a fully submersible vessel, then that presents a different level of threat analysis for the defending navies. But again, the technology is probably out there, and if non-state actors can develop something like that, certainly the militaries are also not far behind. Russia knows it can't afford to ignore naval drone development, and its defense manufacturers are embracing the challenge. There are multiple USV designs presented by different bureaus hoping to sell their technology to the Ministry of Defense. So Russia already has the design, it has the knowledge, but we haven't necessarily seen these type of Russian USVs or even unmanned underwater vessels fielded against Ukrainian forces. The war in Ukraine is rewriting the military playbook and some experts believe its mastery of sea drone tactics is playing to a new arms race in naval drone design. Above and below the surface. Stuart Rumble, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.